families of the six Igbo soldiers who were allegedly secretly tried and executed by the Nigerian army in Abuja have dragged the Nigerian army and the immediate past chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Borotai, retired to the International Criminal Court, according to their lawyer. Sahara Reporters was told by the lawyer, Barista E.R. Okurafo, that the army authorities and Burutai would be served the court papers in the coming week. Okurafo stated that he was at the ICC in The Hague, the Netherlands, where he personally made the application, adding that he did not expect the army to own up to the incident. A coalition of civil societies in the southeast had in a release on Monday allegedly alleged that six soldiers attached to the Amri Department of the Mogadishu Cantonment, Asokoro, otherwise known as Abacha Barracks Abuja, were secretly tried and executed under Borotai's watch. Emeka Umeagbalasi the board chair, International Society for Civil Liber Liberties and Rule of Law, and Professor Anthony Ejiofo, chairman of the World Evo Congress in the United States, among others, had signed the report saying that the soldiers of the Southeast extraction were not given fair hearing before their alleged execution. The activists had given the names of those allegedly executed as Prince Ukwama, Ebube Isaiah, Amos Azubike, Ekene Eberi, Moses Anyim, and Godwin Uchindi. The Nigerian army had described the report as fake news and malicious publication. The director Army Public Relations Brigadier General Sagir Musa, in his characteristic manner, had labeled the incident as gutter news, but failed to give details of the whereabouts of the soldiers and what truly transpired. Only on Thursday, President Muhammad Buhari appointed Buratai and the outgoing service chiefs as non career ambassadors forwarding their names to the National Assembly for confirmation. Speaking with Sahara reporters on the incident, the lawyer representing the families, Okorafo, who spoke from the United States and noted that he was in Abuja only last week, stated that he stood by his claims and he did not expect the army to accept the claims. Okorafo said, I do not expect them to own up. As a matter of fact, when they denied the Obibu massacre, but between them and now, then and now, we have been able to bring out 100 victims. As I speak now, I am at The Hague, at the ICC, the International Criminal Court, and we are filing a case against them. They should come and tell us at the International Criminal Court. We have evidence already against them. They are known for denials. I am in contact with the family members. I was actually contacted by one of the brothers of the slain soldiers. But because of the porousness of the country, we don't want to expose them to unnecessary harm. When we get to the International Criminal Court, we are going to represent when we get to ICC, we are going to present their family members. We filed the case on Thursday. Before next week, they will be properly served. The Army has tagged the news report as fake news and mischievous publication. But some Nigerians are asking the Army authorities to disclose if they ever had as some of their troops 
the six people identified as victims? And if yes, they should show them to the public if they are indeed alive. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story and situation as it were? In this country, there's, there is always a case of uh, telling lies or denials and all what have you, businesses shrouded in secrecy and all manner of uh, ill health and uh, unnecessary things. Well, be that as it were, if the soldiers are still alive, let the army present them to the public. If they are still alive, then let the public see them. Let it be known to their family members and to the world that the soldiers are still alive. What are their crimes? What crimes did they commit? Let the world know that this is the crime they commit or they committed. Then let the, uh, the trial of the case be made public. Since the, it has become an issue of accusations here and there, then let the trial be public. Let everybody know what is going on so that there will be fair hearing, there will be justice, and that people will know that, okay, of a truth, this is what is happening. They were not secretly tried. They were not secretly killed. Everybody deserves a right to fair hearing. It is sad and unfortunate that this is the situation of things at the moment. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong, but be that as it were, it is important that the government and the Nigerian army come out clean on this particular matter. Let them expose themselves. Let them expose the truth to the public. Let everyone know what exactly went wrong and what has been happening. So that if the lawyer has been telling lies and feeding the country or feeding the populace with um, wrong news, as the Nigerian army claims, it is going to be known that the lawyer has been feeding the public with wrong information. But however, if at the end of the day, it turns out to be true, then it is unfortunate that, you know, the, the, the country or the Nigerian army could be shielding people or would have committed such a heinous crime against humanity. So it is sad and unfortunate. What are the stories behind this particular issue? Let us know. Open up to us. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Please drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this news story with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.